But we begin tonight with a woman who says her absentee ballot nearly went uncounted. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Now, according to the Secretary of State, so far, more than 1.5 million Michigan absentee ballots have been returned. But one woman in West Bloomfield was almost not among them. She reached out to us for help because she got a phone call saying her ballot was invalid. There was a problem with her signature, and it turns out she is not alone. 7 News Detroit reporter Sarah Michaels took her concerns directly to the Secretary of State and has what you need to know if you vote absentee. My ballot would have been voided. It would have never got counted. Days after West Bloomfield voter Renee Fluker turned in her absentee ballot, she tells me that she got a phone call from a number that she didn't recognize. And a gentleman called me from San Jose saying my, ba my ballot was voided. The caller told her to contact the West Bloomfield Township clerk to find out what was wrong. So she did just that. And they told me that my signature didn't match what was on file and I had to sign a paper or either come into their office to verify my signature. I took Fluker's story to West Bloomfield Township Clerk Debbie Binder to find out exactly what happened. When we get an absentee ballot back, we verify every signature against what we have in the qualified voter file. What we have in the qualified voter file is, is typically the driver's license or the state ID signature. How often is this happening that a voter's signature on their ballot doesn't match up exactly with what is on their driver's license? I would say that we maybe have 10 to 15 a day. And that's just in West Bloomfield. Once at the township office, Fluker was able to verify her signature, but she does worry about what would have happened if she never answered that call from San Jose. And I told the gentleman, thank you for telling me, but I thought it was a scam. I took that concern to Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. What would you want voters to know? Because they said they got a couple and they were blocking it, thinking it was spam. Well, a couple of things. One, you can go to Michigan.gov to check your, if you're voting from home and you're returning your ballot through the mail, you you should go to michigan.gov slash vote to confirm that your ballot was received. And if you have any questions, contact your clerk proactively. Clerk Binder told me that voters can also sign up at that exact same site to receive alerts from the Secretary of State when your ballot status changes. According to her, this has become a more reoccurring situation since the Secretary of State went from paper to electronic signatures for driver's licenses. She says that if, like Fluker, you vote absentee, be on alert because if there is a problem, they will not only call you, but they will mail and they will email you as well. As much as it is their responsibility, we do try to make sure that everybody voter is, you know, informed and does have the ability to cure. In Detroit, Sarah Michaels, 7 News Detroit. Certainly good to know. Check and double check.